All right, folks, Jermaine Farrell in the house. It is the Hardee's Friday Night Blitz Media Days. And, of course, in the spotlight, the Northside Vikings right around the corner. You had the shortest yeah. trip shortest to the station. Trip. Shortest and joining right now the head coach of the Northside Vikings, Coach Scott Fisher. And, Coach, Appreciate thanks it. for your time, sir. Thank you very much. Well, last year, tough season, 2-8. and eight, But you did get off to a 2-1 and one start, but then things kind of fell back. Just your thoughts of what you're taking from last year and help you improve on this year. Yeah, if we could have played all of our games at Bogle last year, we'd been on, you know, in better <laughs> shape, right? That's true. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, no, we, uh, you know, we were young last year. And um, this year, everybody on the offensive line returns, defensive line returns. Um, you know, Kale comes back. He'll be our running back. He'll be our, our focus point. Um, I think he's one of the top athletes in the Valley. And uh, really, you know, we've had a great offseason. So we're looking forward to good things. You know, when you look at how high school football has changed over the years, I mean, back in the day, you couldn't have as much interaction with your players in all season you're doing it. How big is to have that interaction, you know, with the seven-on-sevens and just the weight room and other various things you do with your team? Yeah, our school is probably no different than most other schools. Everybody plays multiple sports, you know. And so we share those guys with other coaches and other teams. And um, I think it's really important that they play other sports. But at the same time, you know, when they're with us, you know, we get to know them pretty close. You know, we, we know about their family, and we know about their siblings, and we know what's going on in their life and uh, try to do more than just a football coach to them. So when you look at this season, and, and obviously, you know, every year is different, but what do you think will be the key to you guys having this season and the success that you want to have? You know, this year has been really unique in the offseason. The kids have really bonded together. We haven't had that in the last couple of years, and I think that's been really important. Um, they've done things on their own where coaches haven't had to be involved, and we haven't had that in a couple of years. So I'm really happy for that. And this is a tight group. You know, we finally got a senior class that stayed together and moved up together, and um, you know, numbers are good in that group. And uh, I think their leadership has, has been real well. You know, and, and then for you personally, mm -hmm. how much fun is it to see the season kind of? It seems like you were just here last year. Now the season's getting yeah. ready to start again. Yeah, it, it never ends. You know, I don't know how some of these guys like Coach Hickam or Coach White, you know, did that for all those years. It's it's very tiring. You got to love the game in order to do that. And for, for me personally, you know, I have to budget, you know, my time with my family and for my office and for the school. And um, you know, the school has been great. Miss Miss Green and uh, Mr. Deacon have been really good to work with. So, you know, it's just about budgeting. I figure that. And. And of course, obviously, there's been a history of success at Northside and, and all that good stuff. But, you know, when you when you look at your team and you shape your team and, and mm -hmm. all that, I mean, if there's one thing that stands out to having a successful team and shaping the team the way you want it, what is that and why? Well, it's got to be our offensive line. You know, finally, like I said earlier, we, we got all those guys back, which we haven't had in four years. Um, so all those guys are back. We feel real good about that. And the guy that's going to benefit the most from that is Michael Harvey. I think he's a special athlete. He's a special human being. Uh, and for, ha for him to have success, we've got to have success up front. And we think we're going to have that this year. You know, I mean, tremendous basketball player. Uh, yeah. But how has he grown as a football player? Because it seems like, you know, if he has any success he had yeah. on basketball or football, it seems like the interesting. It seems like over the years he's kind of grown into a, a pretty good football player. He's a great football player. And his best football is ahead of him. He had not played any football until his 10th grade year. Um, so he was injury free. He didn't have any bad habits to correct. Uh, he was just an athlete playing football and he has grown as a football player. He understands now, uh, you know, when he runs a stretch play or if he runs a power play or he goes out for a pass route, he understands positioning. He understands concepts better now. And like you said, he's an excellent basketball player. And I think it transitions over the football field as well. So at the end of the day, I mean, what is your expectation for this team this year? Well, expectations is to continue to compete. You know, if our kids go out and compete every Friday night and every Thursday night, the best of their ability, then we've won, whether it's on the school board or not. Um, so expectations are to go out, compete every play, uh, compete in life, be a good steward in the community and in the school, uh, and then graduate with that certificate. Good stuff. Well, Coach, I tell you what, you start off the season with Pulaski County. Yeah. Seems like every year you're starting with the yeah. Cougars every yeah. year. Yeah, every year at Pulaski, and then we roll right in. You know, our, our schedule is, is is pretty good again. We, we keep Salem, we pick up Heritage, open with Pulaski, uh, and then our district is, uh, you know, I would put that up against most anybody's regular schedule. So, yeah, tough schedule, absolutely. Good deal. Coach, 
and the man all the time. Appreciate Coach it. Scott Fisher Thank you very much. in the house and the Northside Vikings getting ready for the season as we are with the Hardy Friday Night Blitz Media Days. My name is Cooper Milady, C O O P E R M U L L A D Y. And I'm graduating class of 2025. Let's talk about last season. I mean, I feel like y'all started off strong. Right. Two and one, but right. then kind of just faded out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what happened? So I don't know. We kind of we started getting banged up, and we just didn't know how to recover from that. And then once people started flying, we just had a young team, so. I guess when people started dropping, we just didn't know what to do with it. Um, looking ahead to this upcoming season, obviously you guys don't want to see a change. What, yeah. like how hard have y'all been working just to well, get back into So it's been very consistent in the weight room. We've seen lots of numbers, and this is our group with all the seniors. You know, last year we only had four seniors leave. This year we're going to have more than ten, so it should be a good sight to see. A lot of leadership taking head there. Yeah, do y'all yeah. like each other on butt heads a little bit? <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, our team likes each other a lot more very well this year. Last year there was a little bit of confusion with that. So this year everybody's getting along and everybody knows each other and it's going good. And what are you, what are you guys wanting out of the season? What, like, what are you looking forward to? So, next? I mean, we're going to playoffs at least. We're going all the way at best. You know, that's what it's always been since freshman year anyways. So, going all the way is goal. Um, having you know wins and losses that they each teach you something, but having yeah. those losses you know consecutively, what did what did y'all kind of learn from that? You know, uh, well, as our seniors, we've been through both seasons uh, losing continuously, and we know what it feels like, and we're done. Um, but you know, we grew through that too. Those people who stayed, you know, went through it. We're ready to go now. We know what it's like to go through it. We've seen what it's like to win other uh, programs, and we're ready to be the one. How excited are you for the last hey, season? I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm ready to go. Um, off season, what do you like doing other than football? Uh, I work a lot, honestly. Um, you know, it's just what I do when I can. And then uh, a lot of me and a lot of other football players go fishing on the time we can. What, you caught anything? Uh, we, be, we go catch bass, but we went a little catfishing a few weekends ago, so that was fun. Okay, you caught something? Yeah, okay, just like, as long as you didn't leave. <laughs> nah, that's not what we do. Um, so I'm asking everyone this: something unique about yourself, hidden talent. What do you feel like uh, knows about you? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I played the drums for a while, so that's something a lot of people don't know. But okay. just kind of what I did for a while. That's something. All right, favorite food? Uh, chicken, chicken. That's all I, I eat. Like it. Big, uh, I like kind of fried chicken. That's my thing. My mom makes it, and it never gets old. Okay. Um, with football, uh, obviously a lot of people they like it because of the contact and releasing some. Yeah. Well, how did you get into football? Yeah, I mean, honestly, all my friends played it, so it was just like you know why not? And then you know you fall in love with all little bits and pieces of the contact, and you know. The everything coming together, you know, at at the beginning when things are kind of like iffy, and then once you kind of get to going and everything comes together, it just it's just great. Um. Uh, so for this upcoming season, we're gonna set goals. What like what's a goal you want to have for yourself? It could be football related or it could be not football related. Um. But then a goal that is football related for the team. Yeah, so a goal for myself is just to uh, uh, keep good grades and, you know, just finish out the school year uh, strong. And then for the football team, hey, it's to, it's to finish it, go all the way. So that's what we want to do. All right, perfect. Uh, Terry Burns, T-E-R-R-Y-B-U-R-N-S, class of 2025. Just, you know, walk me through last season. I mean, I feel like y'all started off strong, but, yeah, like, <laughs> We you had seen some difficulties and couldn't find a way to bounce yeah. back. Talk a little about that. Well, we had a lot of young guys last season, and we were doing good until it started. To, we get started getting banged up, like you said, and we just started falling apart. But I feel like this year, we really got something going for us. We got a lot, a lot of new people and a lot of transfers coming in, so I think we'll be great. How are y'all playing to stay healthy? Um, really, like the bits and pieces of just like injury prone and like like working on your neck strength and like your knee strength and ankle strength all that plays a big part 
Yeah, for sure. I'm like, we need to keep it all out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, expectations. What are you looking forward to for the season? Um, just grit, passion, love, all that applied to the game. Just stuff to keep us going, because we need, we got to keep winning. We got to keep moving forward. Exactly. Yeah. Y'all you know who we got to play. First game, first yes, week. Pulaski County. Oh, okay. Uh, talk about them. What, what? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not taking them lightly with them. So I mean, I'm already, I'm already ready to play. So. Yeah. What, what do they have? They, I'm pretty sure they have some returnees as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it home or away? It's home. Oh. Home no, home it's away. Oh, it's away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bus drives. You like? Bus yeah. Away I like, game? I like, I like both games. I like this when it's cold, but it's not gonna be cold that game. So. Okay. Um, going to this season, leadership roles, talk about that, like what y'all mean for the seniors to kind of step up and help out the younger kids coming in. Uh, just, just helping them with tips and ways to get better, just like technique, um, the mind game, the mind games. You get, you can't let people get in your mind. Exactly. Even the fans, y'all actually yeah. hear people scream. Um, not really. I mean, I don't. But. <laughs> you kind of just zone it out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite food? Chicken. Well, really wings, but okay. You got a, you got like a what's the yeah sauce um put on probably spicy garlic oh. probably spicy garlic. <laughs> All right, hidden talent, something unique about yourself. Um, gosh, I don't really have one of those. I mean, I mean, I could say I'm strong, but like everyone knows that. Uh, what's like what most of you bench press or lift? Uh oh, I I bench press uh 385. <laughs> um, uh, overall, going into this upcoming season, I mean, this is your last hoorah. Yeah. So what What do you want out of it the most from for this season? Uh, just to take it all the way. That's that's always been the goal. Take it all the way. <laughs> all right. I think we're good here. Now we get to have some fun. Yep. And